welcome to Significant TV, Significant Stories for Significant Entrepreneurs. I'm your host, Fran McNeil, and joining me in the studio is Jody Gersh, Chief Visionary Officer and co-founder of ISEE, and we'll ask her a little bit more about that in a few moments. Jody, welcome. Good morning. Good Thank morning. You for me Good here. morning. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you for coming out. You know, we've had a chance to get to know each other. And one of the things that I initially wanted to know is why is your company called ISEE? So I'm going to ask that because I know some of the viewers are <laughs> curious as well. Well, it stands for Integrated Security Electronic Enterprises. Ooh, Integrated Security Elect Electronic Enterprises. Exactly. So why that name and what do you do? Well, we were originally called Gersh Alarm Company. That's what I thought. <laughs> and we felt that the name did not properly reflect who we are or mm -hmm. what we do. Okay. So we brainstormed mm -hmm. and came up with this name. Okay. Um, Gersh Alarm, we are never just been Gersh. Mm -hmm. My husband and I are partners and co-founders, mm -hmm. but it has never just been us. We've always had a team. Mm -hmm. And although our original focus was primarily just alarm systems in the early days, it has expanded and we offer a wide variety of security systems and security products. Mm -hmm. And so we wanted to reflect that okay. in the okay. name of the company. I love it, mm -hmm. I love it. So we'll talk a little bit more about that um, in the context of Significant, because of course, this is Significant TV. So take me back, what's a significant moment that sort of started you on this path of entrepreneurship and you and your husband since you're co-founders? <laughs> Well, we opened up our doors on December 1st, mm -hmm. 1977, just a few months after we got married. Wow, that's quite a way <laughs> to start off a marriage. It is. Uh, okay, so starting a business, like a baby. Okay. Well, that's exactly what we thought. Mm -hmm. We figured we have no obligations to anybody else. It was mm -hmm. just the two of us. Mm -hmm. No family concerns. Mm -hmm. And so if we're going to take the plunge, why not do it now? Wow, I love it. I love it. Okay, December 1st. Why December 1st? That's, we got married at the end of June. Okay. And we did our preparation, mm -hmm. what little there was of it. <laughs> <laughs> Found a place mm -hmm. to rent. Mm -hmm. And we started business as the protection center. Wow. We were okay. planning to be, and we were for the first seven years of our business, mm -hmm. a um, location where we sold professional security equipment to the do-it-yourselfer. Oh, okay, that's a very specific niche. Yes. Okay. And okay. it was retail only. At least that was the vision. Okay. But it brings me very nicely into the one of their significant moments, mm -hmm. um, which was on April 2nd, um, a newspaper article appeared. Okay. And I should give you a little background for that. Okay. Yeah, um, there was a gentleman at that time named Gene Austin, mm -hmm. who was a very tough critic. And he wrote um, in the real estate section, and he always had at least one or two columns in the real estate section on Sunday. Mm -hmm and his expertise was real estate and um, anything having to do with home improvement. Okay. And we came to his attention, I guess because of the unusual niche that we mm -hmm. occupied. Mm -hmm. And he came to interview us, he interviewed Harry actually. Mm -hmm. I was still in school. Ah, okay. So Harry's the one who was interviewed. Mm -hmm. And um, his reputation was a very tough critic. And his, his articles often reflected that. Okay. And he had a huge fan base, a great following. Oh, people always love when other people are getting <laughs> trashed. So, exactly. okay, great media. Right? And when he was done with Harry's interview, mm -hmm. Harry told me later, he said he was sure that what was going to appear in the newspaper was going to be the obituary for the business. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> and we were trying to console ourselves with the idea that any publicity is good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, what appeared instead was an article on the front page of the Sunday section of the Philadelphia Inquirer Above wow. the fold. Wow. I brought a copy of it. Woo, okay, okay. So, wow. this okay. is the Philadelphia Inquirer, real estate, Sunday, April 2nd, 1970. 70, <laughs> wow. 78. Okay. Yes. Do it yourself protection for home and office. Wow. And although you've met him and he looks nothing like this anymore, that is Harry. <laughs> That's Harry. Okay. And, and these images? These images were this is a water detector. And this was a lock. We actually had a fishbowl to show oh. how a water detector would work. Oh, I, okay. Because I, I see. <laughs> so the, the fish. image you see is the fish, <laughs> but the little tiny wire, which probably won't show up very right, well on television, right. was showing how we detect water. Wow. And we used the fishbowl to show that. 
Wow, that's a great significant story. Because we had story. a whole retail yeah. showroom. Okay. So, and this was a lock. We sold locks and other related mm -hmm. equipment. But the primary focus was professional security equipment, okay. alarms. Okay. And this wonderful article appeared. Mm. And it kick-started our business. Okay. Because you can imagine, that you can't pay for this kind of publicity. Oh, no, no. Front page? Okay. And really, just months after you started. Exactly. So what happened next? Well, what happened next was not in direct relationship. Let me just put this down. Mm -hmm. Not in direct relationship to this, mm -hmm. but through a contact that we had. Um, a union came to us and said, okay. we want to do business with you. You've been very strongly referred to us. Right. But there's no way we're going to do it ourselves. Oh, okay. Exactly. And that was? That was okay. totally contrary wow. to our vision. Exactly. Okay. But what this started was one of the values that we hold very dearly, mm -hmm. and that is listening to our customers. An important <laughs> one for entrepreneurs. Right. Right. Okay. And fortunately, that's a lesson that we took to heart. Mm -hmm. And so we found a way to get the system installed for them. Okay. And that started us off on a totally different path. Wow. What? One that we followed what to this day. What a great example of how you grow your business by listening. And as a result of listening, your, your business was redefined. Exactly. But you kept, as you said, your values. This is, so when you think about your business, what, what are you most passionate about? What's the core of your business? Well, we like to say that we help catch bad guys. I've heard you say that. Okay. And that could mean all sorts of things. Well, it leads me to yeah. another significant moment. Okay. Okay. And it was one that happened this week. Oh, okay. Very okay. fresh. Yes. So we go from the very roots of the company to right. the most recent history. Okay. Okay. And we have a restaurant that's a customer of ours. Mm -hmm. And for security reasons, we don't talk about the names of customers. Sure. Okay. Sure. So, but if I mentioned the name, you would know it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And they had an, um, a, an alarm that tripped over mm -hmm. the weekend. And um, the police responded, mm -hmm. and they found a perpetrator running away from the restaurant. Okay. Okay. He, and they were able to tell that he had been the person that broke in. Mm -hmm. They stopped him. They apprehended him. Mm -hmm. And they asked him if he had anybody else with him. Mm -hmm. And he said, yes, they did. And they tried to get the second person who would not come out for whatever reason. Okay. okay. They sent the dogs into the restaurant wow. and uncovered the second perpetrator. And as a mm -hmm. result, they arrested two big guys. Wow. And so, so we don't catch them ourselves, but we help to catch you them. Help, you help. Okay. Wow. So that's why we say that. <laughs> business and results. Exactly. When you think back over your business, what are some results that you're really most proud of? And I bet some of them are connected to your value system, but you share. Well, some of the things we're proud of are the detections that mm -hmm. we've had. Mm -hmm. The homes we've saved because our fire alarms have detected mm -hmm. fires. Okay. Okay. The businesses that we have um, helped to protect. Mm -hmm. All of those things are just so wonderful for us. Mm -hmm. And I know you have a strong community involvement. Talk a little bit about that because I think that's, that's important. You know, you're not, the business is important, your team is important, and the impact on the community is important. Well, by putting alarms in and, and additional security mm -hmm. in houses of worship, for example. Mm -hmm. right. um, it's, it's a real shame that a house of worship is not safe on its own. Mm -hmm. But by being able to put in uh, a security system of some sort, we make the place safer. Yeah. I have another story for you. Okay, <laughs> okay. 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 Uh, we were called in to bid on a fire alarm mm -hmm. in a local synagogue. Mm -hmm. We already were providing the burglar alarm protection there. And we looked at the bid specs, and there was no um, indication that there was any need for a smoke detector in the ark, which is behind the altar. Okay. And it's where the sacred scrolls, the Torah, oh, is, right, right. is stored. Right. But um, I just said, I took a look at it, and I know the value of a Torah, mm -hmm. um, not just financially, and there is a significant financial right. investment. Yes, right. exactly, but spiritually right. and um, like the MasterCard commercials, it's priceless. Right. 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 And so, you know, as any sacred object is. Mm -hmm. And so I said, in each one of the arcs, let's put a smoke detector. Okay. Okay, because um, these are hand lettered mm -hmm. uh, and they are, uh, it takes a year for a scribe to create mm -hmm. one of these wow. things. Uh, in fact, even the way, if once they get to a point where they can't be used any longer, they're buried 
Mm. They're not destroyed. Okay. And so having a smoke detector seemed to me to be a very important value. Mm -hmm. And so we added this to the specifications. We got the job. And mm -hmm. a little bit later, there was a concert being held in mm -hmm. the synagogue. The place was filled with a thousand cantors and congregants. Wow. And one of the arcs had an electric motor to open it. Mm -hmm. The motor overheated. Oh my goodness. The um, fire department responded immediately. Mm -hmm. God bless our volunteers right. who go running into buildings that are mm -hmm. on fire mm -hmm. where the rest of us are all trying to get out. Right, right, right. exactly. <laughs> and they were able to um, get to the scrolls before there was any damage at all. Mm -hmm. I happened, since I was in the building also attending mm -hmm. the concert, mm -hmm. um, I was there when, as they opened the ark and I saw a little wisp of smoke. That's wow. it. And they got all the Torah wow. scrolls out in plenty of time. Mm -hmm. And then P.S., five or ten years later, mm -hmm. in another ark, there was a ballast that overheated. Mm -hmm. Nobody realized the lights had been lit since um, the high holiday services mm -hmm. three months before. And the ballast finally started to smoke and overheat. Oh, my goodness. And again, we saved the scrolls. In fact, Those they were beautiful stories. They were convinced that it was a false alarm, mm -hmm. and the fire department was there with a heat detector trying mm -hmm. to find where mm -hmm. the heat mm -hmm. was, and they rescued the scrolls. Wow. And so this is one of the big ways that we impact a community. Mm -hmm. We save the lives of the um, congregation by detecting mm -hmm. the fire as early as possible, mm -hmm. and most importantly, we also save sacred objects. Mm -hmm. People first, objects second. Wow, wow. Wonderful, wonderful. So, Jody, as we kind of conclude, a question I always love to ask is when you and your team focus your energy for action, what happens in the world? <laughs> it's a big question, but I always get great answers, so I'm compelled to ask it. <laughs> well, I'm a big believer in talent mm -hmm. and working in our areas of talent and hiring for any places that are not right. in our talents. Right. And one of Harry's absolute areas of genius is problem solving and troubleshooting. Mm -hmm. And so he is able to go into almost any alarm that exists out there and fix whatever the problem is mm -hmm. to the point where we have a reputation in the, with the fire officials in the community and we have a reputation with our customers who refer us to others. Mm -hmm. And so we have gotten a lot of customers um, who are incredibly loyal, God bless them all, mm -hmm. um, to us because we will go in and work with whatever existing equipment is there not require any major changes, and fix problems. Right. Wow. And so I, that helps them stay in business. Exactly. That helps them do what they need to do. Exactly. They don't have to make a big investment to right. fix something. Right. And we will work the problem until we solve it. Wow. We can't always solve a problem instantaneously. Mm -hmm. Sometimes mm -hmm. it takes longer. Sometimes right. it's faster. Right. Wow. But we always make it work. Powerful. That's one of our own internal slogans. Powerful. And yet another value. Great. Well, Jody. Um, last question, we have about a minute left. When I introduced you, I said that you were a chief visionary <laughs> officer. You got to close on this. Um, tell me why you came up with that name and tell me what does that really mean? Well, there are a couple of things. Okay. Really quickly. Since the company okay. is I-S-E-E, -E, yes. vision is very important. Mm -hmm. <coughs> One of the things that we do is video surveillance. Mm -hmm. So all of those wonderful visual puns mm -hmm. just keep coming to the forefront right. for us. Right. And the other reason is, what is a chief executive officer mm -hmm. if not a visionary? Ah, I love it. I love it. What a wonderful way to close. Thank you so much for being on the program. It's a real Thank pleasure. You. Thank it's you for having pleasure. me. pleasure. And if people want to get in touch with you, how should they do that? Well, they can call 215-782-9911. Mm -hmm. They can email us at sales at ISEE four zero four zero dot com and they can go to our website IC forty forty dot com. Terrific. Mm. Thank you. You're welcome. Well again, it's been a pleasure having you on the show. And folks, as always, significant stories from significant entrepreneurs like Jody Gersh. I'm Fran McNeil, your host of Significant TV, and I look forward to you joining us on our next episode. Thank you.